Welcome to CC United's slideshow uh, to increase positional awareness in the 11v11 game. This slideshow will not only be a part of our player evaluations for 13 year old players and older, as on day two of the tryouts they'll be trying out for a specific position, but it will improve our team's effectiveness as our players have a greater understanding of each player's role in both attack and def defense. This slideshow is in uh, support of the central midfielders in attack. Um, the central midfielders uh, have probably the most important role in the team when it comes to attack. Um, the first thing is their positioning on the field. Note how where they are in a midfield four. This is a this is called a flat midfield. Um, other uh, midfield is a diamond midfield which produces an attacking midfield and a defensive midfielder. But here we see a flat traditional midfield. And one thing you'll notice is that um, the angles, the triangles that they make with their wide players and the triangles that both eight and six make with our strikers. Um, so as the ball gets moved across, um, our center midfielders, because they play in the middle of the field, should have the most passing potential they should have the highest pass potential and that they should be able to go in lots of different directions one thing is really important is as they receive it all central midfielders not only should play in the central area of the field and not get caught drifting too far wide but they should always receive the ball trying to see as many players as possible here the ball is switched along the back along the midfield line and as it does with two midfielders like this working, as the ball is moving from eight to six, the centre midfielders are asking the question, can they play forward or do they need to keep the ball going across? As the ball reaches seven, we become aware of the passing angles that they make, the angles of support. As you can see, they make uh, triangles with the striker and with the outside mid. Um, they also make triangles with the um, fullback and make a diamond with the whole picture on their side. So one of the angles of support also is they're moving around away from pressure. They're looking for the opportunity to play into the striker like so which is their prime pass. The striker movement should be based off the passing lanes between the centre midfielder and the strikers. Here we see the bigger picture of the angles of support, um, but we see it in a diamond midfield now. So as you can see, six is now the attacking midfield, um, and eight is now, the set, is now the defensive midfield. One quality of a flat midfield is that both must be have good awareness, have good passing ranges, being able to pass long and short, and must also have good awareness to play away from pressure. When we switch the midfield around like this with an attacking midfielder and a defensive midfielder, our defensive midfielder's qualities must be more, um, must have more discipline positionally to stay in the middle, because one of their roles defensively is to stop the pass going in but these would be the starting point of the attack these guys would have the ability to switch the ball across the field whereas our attacking midfielder shown in here in six would be looking to be able to take people on and drive into the attacking third to create a problem for the opposing two central defenders so we go back to our flat midfield four and as you can see the big question as the ball gets played into six, six is in, it should be always aware of this. Eight should always be aware of this, and their head should be on a constant swivel. Um, as a centre midfielder, it is vital that technically they have their shoulders facing the other team's goal. And notice their position in line to the team. They are right in the middle of absolutely everything. And as the ball comes in here, they should have the opportunity to pass to so many different players. And the question that should be asked when six receives the pass, can I pass forward? Can I hit a striker? And with that, 
the pass finds its way to our striker. The second role of attack is can I support my strikers? So as well as being the um, providing angles of support as we see here with our triangles, okay, and we see here with our triangles with six, four, and five, we see a diamond here in this area. Um, one of the things that we want our um, mid center midfielders to do is to recognize when to run past um, our strikers and when to support. So here the ball was passed from seven to eight. There's no opportunity for seven to pass forward. So eight checks out. And eight is once again asking, can I play the ball to the striker? And the ball, when the ball finds its way to eight, nine checks into the pocket and the ball is delivered. And six has to recognize that there is a passing lane open between eight and nine. And before that pass is made, Look to get into this area here to support. Um, so also, oh, we need to recognize our striker movement. So as the ball is with three, and three can um, three can obviously have the angle of support of playing into six. Six is aware of that pass into the striker. Six is aware of the movement that the strikers are going to do. There's a pocket here that's going to open up. So all the time, they're not only aware of hitting the strikers' feet, but the areas in which the strikers can get to. Um, on receiving the ball, our, our midfielders are, must always be ready of our running patterns of our striker. So here, our strikers are going to start. One is going to start the horseshoe movement and curl the run out. And our second striker is going to start the movement of just running in behind 17. And as that ball gets played into 8, 8 has recognized the running patterns. Uh, 9 has started the horseshoe. And 10 receives the ball through. And these are all things that as a central midfielder, as the play is developing, um, he has to be, they, or he or she have to be aware of these kind of movement patterns before they receive the ball. So as the ball is going out wide, they're recognizing what's going on in here. They're not just watching the ball. They're aware of this next pass. They're aware of where the other team is playing. Um, center midfielder is, it's a very intelligent position. Um, so one of the things that they have to be aware of is playing against different systems, different formations. Here the red team have switched to a 4-3-3, but are playing their three central. Our central midfielders need to be aware of when they play a three-player midfield central that our opportunities to play out must be quicker because we they've got strength in the middle with their zonal um, awareness. And as the ball gets played into eight, eight is already... Eight is already aware that 11 is uh, the target pass. Um, so the next question that we're going to ask our central midfielders is, is when to go forward and when to go back. And that is a big question. And also our center midfielders have to prepare and um, support accordingly based on pressure here. So at the present time, the ball's with 11. Center mid midfield, 6. Um, could play that pass forward. But 12 all of a sudden stops the pass. And the passing opportunity is no longer on. So the ball, goes, the ball now goes across to player 8. And 8 has no opportunity to go forward. The opposing team have dropped all five players into midfield, leaving one striker up. So the question is, what should eight do? Um, one thing that our midfielders need to do is to recognize um, we need our play to be predictable um, when we attack so we know when to support it. So when the ball went from six to eight, eight recognizes that we have pressure plays, and plays back to five. On receiving the pass, six then checks away. And looks to um, open the passing lane 
and see the uh, opportunity to play into 10 and 9. And on receiving the pass, is able to make the pass into the strikers. Now this is just the start of our build-up. And that now 8 can see that there is an opportunity to run and support beyond 9. So the role of the centre midfielder, well first I want to talk very briefly about the, the qualities of the centre midfielder must have that passing range, must be able to pass the ball over various distances. And not only has the ability to do that, but also has the awareness of recognizing when. Recognizing when to go forward and when to go back, and when to go across and preparing for it. Our attacking mid probably needs a little bit of craft, uh, needs a bit of um, deception, and that when they receive it, can they look one way and pass the other? Can they be aware of movement away from them that they're not actually looking at based on our attacking patterns of play? Uh, can they be aware of the other team's formations and open players? And can they make those decisions of when to go forward, when to go pass, go, go uh, to possess, and when to go backwards? And all the time when they're receiving it, trying to open their body shape up early enough and provide angles of support to these players um, and have their play be predictable. So as that centre midfielder is receiving the ball, before the ball's even come to them, they're in a position central of the field, they've started to move, and their movement and body shape for their next pass is already predictable so we can get those uh, that movement off it. Um, making sure as well is when that movement happens, if defenders track, recognising the space to make attacking runs into